regarding airing cupboards. Now, we do have a bathtub here. We're going to talk a little bit about what an airing cupboard means in relation to the zones of a bathroom. So we have our airing cupboard here in our bathroom. And what we're going to do first, we're just going to measure from the edge of the bathtub, okay, to see where in relation to the zones this airing cupboard falls. So it's actually well over a metre away from the edge of zone one. Okay, so we're actually outside of the zones altogether. So general rules apply. Let's say this airing cupboard fell inside zone two. What would that mean for us? Would zone two actually go part way into the airing cupboard? No, it wouldn't. The same way you move into a different location when you walk through the bathroom door in this installation, the hallway, the same principle applies. Because we have a door on the airing cupboard, space inside here is actually classed as not being in the special location itself. When the door is open, okay, we could be in zone two. So what is actually recommended there in the on-site guide is that 30 milliamp RCD protection for additional protection is protecting the circuits which are serving inside of the airing cupboard. 